finally a little something, well, not so political in nature. Anyway, I'm not sure if you heard this story, but it's very important because there were a lot of takeaways and lessons in this story if you were paying attention. And hopefully you were because I think this is going to be a common story this winter. You know, the baby, the rapper, recently had, well, a baby, an actual baby. And the baby is three months old. So it's still what we would consider a newborn baby. And, well, the baby has a living girlfriend called Danny Lay. That's her name, Danny Lay. And, well, she was nursing the actual baby when apparently the baby, the rapper baby, got upset, got really, really upset and demanded that she leave immediately. And, well, she had to go, go to a motel, a hotel, a holiday inn, wherever. But she couldn't stay at his place. Because apparently, well, I mean, she wasn't paying any rent. Her name's not on any of the contractual lease or mortgage agreements. For all intents and purposes, it's the baby's location. It's his crib. Now, the baby went on to Instagram and kind of filmed himself very upset. Now, one thing you don't want to do is, well, film yourself upset. But anyway, they were having an altercation. And both, both individuals utilized IG Live to share their perspective and their side. Now, there's nothing wrong with using Instagram Live. But I think that type of conversation, this is my takeaway and lesson. I think when you're having an altercation, a domestic altercation between two individuals, you probably shouldn't use Instagram Live to show, well, millions of people who might be following you when they click on a physical or domestic altercation. Those kind of things should probably be handled by trained professionals, mental health experts, um, domestic counselors, you know, individuals who can handle and de-escalate those things. Basically what you're doing when you own IG is well, you share your perspective. And the baby's perspective was vastly different than Danny Lay's perspective. And I won't get into whose perspectives is right and wrong, because that's not the lessons you should take out of this. Another lesson you should, well, come away with, ladies in general, is this. Men, or individuals who identify as being male, are very toxic in nature at this point in time in our history. This is being known, but not wanting to be shared. There's a lot of toxicity. And a lot of this toxicity has to do with, well, relevancy. What's the relevancy of men nowadays? Not very much, you know, if I had to be quite honest. I mean, video games, argumentation, augmentation, objectification are just a few, to name a few. But that's probably it, if I'm being honest about the whole situation. You know, 
a large group of men fall into those categories. Not all, but quite a number. And I think you have a situation where the baby has no official ties to this woman besides, well, just having a child. But that's not something that binds a lot of men. It's the takeaway from this situation. It can't be. If you get up into an argument and then you demand that you're, well, whatever you consider the woman that just had your child, you want her to leave with the child to a hotel. Now, I don't know if people realize, but we're in COVID. And even before COVID, people were acting crazy. But now that we're in COVID, the craziest escalated to a level of, well, insanity that can't even be measured anymore. It's off the Richter scale. So, you're telling me that you want the mother of your newborn baby, three months old, to go and find a hotel on Google or Yelp or something like that in the middle of a pandemic. Now, I don't know if the baby has ever heard of little Tekka's son, Ransom, but basically there's people going around in all communities, rich, poor, middle class, and they're just stealing people's dogs and ransoming off their dogs. People are kidnapping people and ransoming them off. Now, Danny Lay is a very well-recognized, young, attractive woman of color. If she was to go into some random hotel or motel, I guarantee you, Somebody would recognize her, and they would maybe want to kidnap her and the child and hold up her and the child for ransom. Nowadays, people would be like, well, call up the baby. Tell him we want $5 million in Bitcoin, some old stupid shit. And the baby would have to go to an ATM go online, buy Bitcoin, and send that to, well, whoever is kidnapping Danny Lay and his newborn child. See, but the baby is not a long-term thinker. Low frequency. Because you got to think, there's a lot of people out here kidnapping everything and holding it for ransom. Now, I'm not saying that would have happened to Danny Lay. But it's certainly a possibility when you want somebody to just in the middle of the night go and find a motel because you can't cool down. You're being irrational. And you're wanting to argue in front of your, well, three-month-old. Now, I know people are like, well, the three-month-old won't remember any of that shit. Look here. Everything is about frequency and energy. That three-month-old child can tell that there was negative frequencies and energy in that room. And plus, the internet is forever. They both went on IG Live. Say the child grows up and becomes a teenager. Those videos are still going to be on the internet. Who knows how easy or difficult they'll be to find. But the internet is forever. Danny Lay and the baby. There's a lot of takeaways in this. For the common individual. Because if that can happen to Danny Lay, I'm telling you other ladies out there, it can and will happen to you this winter. The biggest takeaway right now in our society for young women in general is that you better have your own stuff. 
You cannot rely on any man, whether you're married, whether you're cohabitating. No. You gotta have something to fall back on. Because invariably, they're gonna do something like the baby tried to do. Now what the baby could have done is, well, go out for a walk. Try to de-escalate the situation. Try not to have that conversation. You know, a lot of times people get escalated in conversations they don't want to have. If one party says, I don't want to talk about this, and the other party is insistent on talking about it, the party that wants to talk about it should go outside. Everybody has a communication device called a cell phone. You can share your perspective well with individuals who you might know and might agree with you. It's a de-escalation tool. And also do breathing exercises. Yoga, Pilates, meditation. Really focusing on mindfulness and being mindful of well, what you're asking and requesting. He really wanted Danny Lake to get up right then and there and take a three month old baby, his three month old baby, to a hotel and motel in the middle of a global pandemic. I'm glad that didn't happen. Cause who knows what would have happened to Danny Lay and the baby. The actual baby, the three month old baby. Because the baby, the rapper, who's supposed to be an adult and, and in part played a role in creating an actual baby, was not thinking like a mature adult. Like a lot of men nowadays are not, well, thinking like mature adults. You know, there's a lot of takeaways and lessons this winter. Winter is coming. It's going to be cruel. And the best bet is to have your own things. You can't rely on the baby. The rapper, the baby. You can't rely on anyone. You better have your own stuff. Because we will it looks like it's the season of everybody being out for themselves and everybody on their own. It kind of looks like it's the Hunger Games and Squid Games on steroids. Danny Lay wasn't a victim, but she was an example and a lesson that everybody better take heed to. Because the baby wanted to kick her out before winter into a motel in a hotel. And she's privileged enough to be, well, in that circle, in a very select circle of individuals. Can you imagine you, the working class person, and what your boyfriend or husband will do to you this winter? better have your own shit. Don't say we didn't want you. This is going to be the worst winter in the history of America.